everyone so my this particular video is related to the questions which are being asked in recently you know i think uh, drdo interviews are going on so hr related questions which are being asked in drdo my this particular video is about that and what can be the probable answer for that now uh, one of the very commonly asked questions uh, in drdo is like why do you want to join drdo obviously that question is expected they are going to ask you that question why you want to join drdo how will you contribute if you join drdo what will be contribution to this organization in which project you can help us of drdo uh, how the missiles uh, work any idea about the kind of missiles we have and how missile is different from flying of missile is different from flying of the aeroplane is there any difference between uh, missiles and the rockets what function of wings in missile and how it take turn so when missile is to take turn how does it do that and how shall you design the gun those kind of uh, questions so these are the questions which a student shared with us and uh, you know they are recently being asked in drdo interview so uh, let me tell you like uh, why you want to join drdo so i want to join drdo because it is the premium premier research institute defense research institute of india i want to lead a career in research and development Uh, drdo keeps on working on latest technological domains and i would learn to work in these latest technologies moreover when you will be working for drdo you get a feeling that you are working for the national security of the country that gives immense pride in itself uh, drdo is a part of ministry of defense and um, when i'll be working for drdo i'll be part of ministry of defense that gives uh, immense you know proud and uh, satisfaction to me moreover uh, drdo has uh, labs all over india catering to different research domains there are 50 plus labs and each lab is uh, doing work in particular area of research so i'll be getting opportunity to visit these places and uh, you know uh, do research in those areas so that kind of thing you can uh, talk about you know in drdo how you will contribute in drdo sir my contribution will be dependent upon i'll give my 100% in whatever lab is assigned to me i'll be giving my 100% director of the lab or seniors my seniors whatever they will advise me to do i i i believe that i'll be getting some kind of training and orientation program first and i'll be giving my 100% so if i'm ready to give my 100% and uh, do work seriously as per the advice and guidance of my seniors there i think i'll be proving myself as an asset for the rdo Uh, as of now, I am not aware that which area I'll be working on and what technological things I'll be working on. But I am sure that I'll be giving my hundred percent. I'll be maintaining discipline. I'll be a sincere employee of DRDO, and I will look forward to pursue my entire career in DRDO. So, with this uh, commitment, I want to join DRDO. Uh, which project uh, can you help us? So, for that, at least you should have some idea about the projects going on in DRDO. maybe you can visit some of the labs of drdo and see as per your branch let me give you an example like suppose you are from electronics background and if you visit a lab of deal dehradun defense uh, lab have wahan pe deal jisko bolte hain and ird instrument research development establishment uh, and deal or you know gas turbine if you are from mechanical there is a lab of gas turbine and uh, if if you talk about you know Uh, related to uh, bulletproof jackets there is a tbrl uh, ballistic missile range tbrl chandigarh so there are different labs all over india you need to visit lab and see what projects these people are doing and at the end you say sir there are so many projects which i like in the different labs of drdo they just they ask you this question uh, only to know whether you have visited some labs or not suppose you have not visited any lab of the drdo you have not seen what uh, work is going on different labs then that that means you are not interested in this job so they just want to make sure that you have seen these labs and you know what kind of projects are going on at the end you will say sir there are so many projects which i am interested in like this 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 projects are going on but depends which lab is assigned to me uh how missile work no missiles may you know there is a engine sometime uh, solid sometime liquid propulsion or cryogenic engine and that engine gives power and missile moves cruises forward you know that is how it goes and uh, that is how the missile is going to work so unlike aeroplane where bernoulli equation uh, you know is very important and wings may the moment it goes and the aeroplane may lift force is there 
so unlike aeroplane in the missile lift force is not the main criteria it is actually the uh, thrust force which is the main criteria and hence the engine gives a lot of power for that so the role of wings in aeroplane and role of wings in missile is are different right so how you will design a gun for designing a gun obviously you know you know there's a recoil principle newton's third law action and reaction principle so recoiling force acts on the gun so the moment there's a spring uh, you know uh, you you provide a spring force to the bullet and then that uh, bullet is fired further so designing of the gun means with what velocity uh, you want to fire the bullet and uh, how you want to maintain its trajectory and uh, drag forces to be minimized in the air those kind of things i mean these are the questions now start thinking on these questions you can always download the document of drdo in which types of missile cruise missile ballistic missile all these things are mentioned types of labs so take that particular document from your pdf website and go through that and from there you will get an idea what kind of you know labs are there and what kind of uh, you know work is going on those labs i hope uh, this particular part will help you to prepare further in the for the interview of drdo and suddenly hr questions are being asked you know, just visit the labs and see the projects related to you and they can even ask you that as a electronic engineer as a mechanical engineer as computer science engineer which lab do you want to join in india have you seen some law labs of interest to you so also vis visit the labs of drdo and you should be clear about that so i uh, you can uh, you know seek the help of mentors of your pdf for hr questions and technical questions and all and many of such hr technical questions are also uploaded on our channel youtube channel which is for gdgt and interview channel so you can listen to those kind of questions and also feedback of the students all the very best looking forward to mentor you for this interview thank you